Hey guys, it's Brandon here again at Vape Extreme. Um, back here today with another hardware review. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done videos, um, but I'm banging them out tonight. Uh, I just got a really nice shipment in um, from canvapes.com and um, I've been kind of wanting to get some reviews done. Uh, I've been using these mods in toys and stuff uh, on and off for the last couple days. Um, so it's actually uh, it's actually kind of nice. It, it's got me excited about vaping again. Um, I kind of got to a point where it was I kind of hit a flat spot in my uh, in my vaping experience. I, I had the mods that I liked using. Um, I had juices that I was enjoying. I had atomizers and cartomizers and tanks that I was I was uh, I was using, but. I got back online and started finding um, some new stuff, uh, which is actually kind of nice. You'll have to excuse the red spot on my nose, my safety glasses uh, scratched me today. Um, so this is another mechanical mod, um, I've been kind of getting big on mechanicals um, just because they look uh, a little neater, I guess. Um, this one here uh, comes from canvape.com, uh, retails for $42.95, um, three colors available, uh, there's a mocha, a gold, and a blue. Um, I ordered mine in the blue because it just looks amazing. Um, now I was going to do an unboxing, but there's no unboxing, um, it basically came in a bag. Um, everything was all nice and uh, neatly wrapped. Um, basically what you get um, is a drip tip. Uh, it's It looks cool, it just kind of feels awkward. Um, the drip shield itself um, and of course the, uh, the mod section uh, which of course is a telescoping mod. Um, right now I have this uh, with an 18490 kicked um, and uh, just kind of show you how it performs. Um, your vaping experience, of course, is going to vary depending on what you're using for a battery, uh, if you're kicking it or just using it as, as a 3.7 volt mod, uh, and of course, whatever atomizer, cartomizer tank you're using on top. Performing outstanding. Um, neat little mod. Um, it's very a little bit rough on the threads, um, but it's actually kind of a neat, uh, a neat little mod. Um, battery, uh, of course, your bottom cap. They missed uh, the whole idea of how things thread together. Um, it does have an on-off on the bottom, okay. The issue is the cap threads off normally, but your off threads on with the cap, and your on, which means you're unlocking it, threads off with the cap. Mm, kind of backwards in, uh, in my opinion. Um, but it's basically, uh, you know, your regular telescoping mod, um, so it does come apart in, uh, this is the squeaky one. I'm going to put some, uh, grease on that. Um, so basically it comes apart. I've got my kick in there, as you can see. Um, I'll get that out. And it does come out actually quite easily. So there's my kick. Um, and then it's just your uh, your basic connection in the bottom. Um, vented. You can't ask for more venting. Um, you've got uh, vent holes there. Um, you have vent holes on the cap or on the uh, on the bottom connector, uh, which is fantastic. Um, and I'm also pretty sure that uh, the connection between the actual button and the body will also vent out as well. If in a case where you have a catastrophic battery failure, but uh, nobody ever hopes for that. So, a couple downfalls. 
Um, it's a very sleek looking mod. I love it. Um, I love the color. Um, I love the way that it goes together. I love the feel of it. Couple issues. Um, one being the drip shield. It's not really a drip shield. Um, well, it is and it isn't, I guess. Um, it actually has uh, the uh, Ego um, skirt threading. Uh, so, in a review that I had just done, um, the EVOD or EVOD or EVOD or whatever you want to call it uh, will actually um, thread onto it. Uh, so most of your uh, stardust and stuff like that will thread onto it as well. Um, the drip shield, it's too tall. Um, because if you were to take this and uh, let's say a regular atomizer by chance. So here's a regular 510 atomizer with a drip tip on it. If you thread that on there and then you take your drip shield of course, I gotta take the drip tip off. Um, that's really squeaky. Um, you, I'm gonna try and see if I can get. See if I can zoom in on that. Uh, let's try to focus. Focus. You can see the atomizer is actually still inside. Out a little bit and there's still a gap there right now the drip tip that is included is a regular drip tip sorry guys autofocus um, so the drip tip doesn't actually fit in here it's just loose. It's a regular drip tip that would fit into any normal atomizer. And it looks kind of neat. I, I, I like the looks of it. The feel of it's a little bit different. Um, so that's a bit of a downfall. Um, if this was shorter, where it was, you know, kind of like that when it went together, and then you could put a drip tip on it, that would look a lot cooler. Um, I'm sure you can get the longer barrel atomizers, uh, which I don't own, which is kind of my, my only disappointment um, in my case. Um, so basically what I've been doing is um, threading on a, uh, not really an XL, but a, a larger uh, cartomizer, um, and then threading it on that way. And it looks, uh, it looks pretty neat. I, I do like the uh, the actual looks of it. Um, the top part of the body is uh, stainless steel, uh, which is nice, so there's no anodizing or sanding to be done on the inside. Um, the base of the body is, uh, I'm assuming the outer skirt um, is aluminum and the inner uh, skirt is brass um, because it looks like it's basically a sleeve over top. Um, the kick is very easily uh, inserted and removed, which is nice um, because I have some mods uh, or some mechanical mods where you got to kind of fight with it to get it out, um, which I hate. Um, so as you can see, uh, your venting holes at the top there, um, venting holes at the bottom, and then your airflow holes at the top for when you put the actual drip tip on you get a very uh, a very decent airflow. Other downfall, um, the bottom, it's a little tight. Um, it's very well manufactured. It's just the spring, it takes a little bit of effort. Um, I do have the Smoke Tech um, telescoping mod which is a little bit, whoops, a little bit easier to push. Um, this here takes a little bit of an effort, um, but I've grown with it. Um, I actually don't mind it now. You know, it kind of gives your pinky finger a workout. 
um, but it does perform very well and it looks amazing. Um, I love the looks of this uh, uh, device. Now of course with it being telescopic uh, you can use anything from uh, I've actually had a 16340 in here and it, it works um, but it'll basically use uh, anything from uh, an 18350 all the way up to an 18650 um, and of course you can throw your kick in there uh, in between uh, depending on what you want to use because um, I believe you can actually kick this with an 18350 of course because it's telescopic and uh, you can adjust it to whatever size you want. Um, so yeah guys um, this is the KTS K100 Empire Mechanical Mod. Canvapes.com, uh, 4295. Uh, all you're going to get, again, just kind of a quick recap: uh, the stainless steel drip tip, uh, the drip shield, and of course the actual mechanical mod itself. So uh, check it out, guys. Um, if you're into uh, mechanical mods, you may want to get one because they look neat. So uh, yeah, as always, let's keep on vaping.